Well, Connor, a win, a goal in the dying moments again from yourself. Uh, that must be a real weight off the shoulders for the team. Personally, a weight off my shoulders as well. Obviously, I've gone a few games without a goal now, so it was nice to get that and uh, most importantly get the three points. But like I say, I think we've probably been a bit treated unfairly as in, in terms of ourselves because we have dug deep in the last, obviously we went seven games without a win. We did dig deep, but it went against us and today we've turned that around and long may it continue. Let's hope we can uh, build onto that to next Saturday and we can go again. With the manager leaving earlier this week, there was a, a lot of new information for you guys to take on, albeit by familiar faces, but you seem to have taken that on today and you really took it to Tranmere Rovers. Obviously, it's never nice seeing someone got the building. You know, we had a lot of love for the gaffer and he was very good with us. Unfortunately, it didn't go to plan, so like I say, Mac had come in and took over and uh, he drilled us into the training pitch Thursday, Friday. We, we knew we knew our jobs, we knew our roles and we stuck together today and we, uh, we grinded it out. Um, playing at a two up front yourself and George, I noticed a couple of times in that first and second half, you coming short and George going in behind, but it was you going in behind that won that penalty. And Just talk us through that moment there where you have to readjust the ball on the spot, but you took a, a deep breath and composed yourself. That was the game plan. One of us had to come short, one of us had to go long. We couldn't be on the same lines as together. That's what we worked on in training. And sometimes to get today, we were on the same lines, obviously, and the, and the ball didn't stick, but majority of the time it did. And that's something me and George probably have both got to work on is, is being a good partnership together, getting to know each other well and, and seeing how we both play. Um, yeah, I got the ball in behind. Like I say, I felt like I was going to beat Clark in a race most times. Lucky enough, the ball wasn't, I was in there at the right time. And then uh, I got there first, it gave me a little bit of contact. I tried to put the ball a little bit closer, but the referee told me to move it back onto the spot. The spot was all kicked up and didn't matter anyway, did it? <laughs> no, it's three points now. It's a big three points for, for the team as well. What was the mood like in that dressing room after the game? We walked in and we said, lads, look at that feeling. Like We've not had that in, in so long, literally so long. And I don't think you can beat it. I don't think that that moment is priceless. That feeling is priceless because you come in, we check the results, we check the tables and just one game today, if they win, they're probably closing in on top and we feel that they're no better than us, but like I say, we've, we've stuck together, we've got the three points and now hopefully we can start climbing the table towards the end of the season.